Once again, I brung the whole wrong lens. But in today's episode, we're gonna be getting my wee Yaris. Good, good film work, Brad. We're gonna be getting the wee Yaris ready for its MOT. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start with rust, because this car is a very, very rusty car. So yeah, I've already got the car back jacked up at the back. Uh, it's on ramps as well. So yeah, that, that was good fun. Um, try to get that up on ramps. Oh, a bit of the jacking point seems to be missing. That's not a good sign. Oh dear, let's get a light on that. Oh shit, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good at all. That's very, very bad. Well, let's give it a wee prod. See if, uh, oh dear. Yep, that's fucked. So, yeah, um, well that's not good. I guess it's time for the scrappy for the old car. Um, so 2005, so it's made 15 years uh, on the road and um, it's almost got 150,000 miles on it if you can believe that so yeah I mean it's, it's done pretty good it's done pretty well um, yeah of course I'm not gonna get rid of it because of that I'm gonna go and try and fix it I can slightly weld slightly so yeah <laughs> Let's just jump on with it. I'm going to clean this up with the wire wheel on the grinder and we're going to see how bad it actually is. Alright, so we're on GoPro here. This is what we're looking at. I don't know how well this is going to show or what, but I know the GoPro's got a wide angle, so hopefully it's shown everything. This bit on the bottom here, rotten. That needs replaced. The bit inside of there though, up to this point here, it's actually pretty good. The actual sill itself, the, the bit you would jack your car off of, well that's snapped off because of bad jacking over the years, and that's purely my fault. So the actual inner part of the sill is solid, which is good. It's only just the kind of cover. So this, I'm going to take off a corner here. Not much, just a small bit. Just so as I can repair this bit here, make this all flat. That's going to need all re-welded. And then obviously in the back of here, it all needs to come out. Right, let's start off with putting a little nick in here yeah. alright that's out so I'm gonna make a little chunk here gonna clean this all up as best as I can gonna straighten out all this this pish then I'm gonna try and just make a little V shape get that ready that'll just need a little patch as well obviously once I've finished right let's get moving alright so the whole sill could be doing again redone along this bottom bit, but ain't got time for that. This is my main problem. So I'm going to have to get underneath the car properly and I'm going to have to cut out all oh, that shite as far as possible as I possibly can up in there, down through here and there. Okay, let's get the cunt disc on.
So, got my bits cut out. Still need a little bit of shaping, but that'll go. That needs to be done whilst it's been welded. I thought I would uh, just clean up the rest of it as well, and uh, oh fuck. Oh, talk about opening up a can of worms. Anyways, onwards. I'll get that cut out in a bit to replace it. Lovely. Misery. That's everything. Primer it up. I'll fill it in, make it all look nice in a few days. But holy crap, that, that really escalated. <laughs> Even had this bit showing up. So quickly, that's still wet. Nice. Alright, so now I'm back in my garage, um, I just kind of ended up just absolutely thrashing out and it's I, I ended up with lots and lots of issues with it. So right now we're looking at the arch, which was always a bit rusty but it was never too bad uh, until I decided to pull on it and then it completely pulled off. So I've uh, welded in some new bits of metal in there that should make that pretty strong that's the filler on it just gonna make that look smooth and look a little bit more natural and what the car used to look like now if I squeeze down here we can first of all see this is an absolute mess um, nobody should be proud of this welding especially me <laughs> but uh, yeah no so let's talk about this this was a massive issue that I started to have the the bits here were fine, but I went to clean up this whole area, and it just, it done this, and yeah, it just, I was like, I better get that fixed, and so I cut out a bit like that, and then this bit fell off, and then this bit fell off, and then that bit in the back there fell off as well, so that is all new, and everything's good. Now, as I said, this is really difficult. This is a really difficult area to make out of metal. Um, so in here, this is the new bit of metal, and this bit here is the old bit, and it's they're not really joined together. So we have to like seam seal the hell out of them and bend that up so it looks a bit better. But um, this is never going to look good. And to be fair, when the car isn't jacked up in the air like it is right now, you're never going to be able to see it. So I'm not too fast. As long as everything else on it is solid, which it is, it's it's quite damn solid because um, we've went from probably what they used about like one mil thick plate in the factory, and obviously that's rusted through, so it would be thinner than that. Now now we have a 1.6 mil thick metal, and it's all welded together more than what it would have been because it would just been spot welded in the factory. So yeah, I've got all this to clean up. I'm going to go all the way down along the actual uh, sill as well, just clean up the bottom of it, put some paint on it, make it look a bit nicer instead of the rubbish that it is right now. This is all going to get filler as well, so you'll see soon. I'm probably better off taking off the stone chip cover, but I kind of don't want it because it's, 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 it's handy to have, so I'm just going to like grind away at it again. As I said, this car is just it's just a little run around for us now. So it doesn't need to look amazing, it just needs to look good. Which it will, which it will. So I'm just gonna paint them bits black, but this is uh this is what I've got up to anyways. I've kinda I've kinda went into a sticky predicament here because I've got this which needs its MOT on it, so I'm gonna clean all this up, make it all look good for the MOT. Um and, but also my BMW's handbrakes decided to completely 
explode so I've got to rebuild that with some new backing plates which I've actually painted um but yeah this this is just what happens like um I, I try and film stuff and then I just start racing through everything because I don't have much time and I was very surprised I got that welded within an hour like there's three bits of metal to that and everything so I'm just gonna have to bodge it all up and everything um causes for all this um over like it's it's all fine and well saying my car's rusty but I might be able to help people out if I tell you why my car's rusty so these outer bits here they seem to go quite a lot and when I cut this all out you could actually see inside of the car so I'm wondering if the rain the water's getting in down here somewhere and it's just going straight down onto this bit here and it's just sitting in here which then rots this from the inside out which seems to be the case like it it must be because these tail lights are bad for leaking um, a lot of them get sealed in I think this one's sealed in actually and um, the boot floors and the the, uh, the actual passengers floors they can all get wet from the rear uh, light seals so I reckon that could have been one of the problems um, so this so this must have been water must have been coming in down through and sitting in between the the two bits of metal and that's just rusted that patch out and that's why you get rusty arches I think anyways for down here sills um, so the actual jacking point is all my blame um, over the years like this is the first car I started learning to to kind of maintain and everything so I used to jack it straight up on the sill no sill protectors or anything like that just used to go straight up onto it with a jack and it's mushed it and crushed it over the years and the metal's got weak and torn and let water in it's just rusted it out as for this bit back here though I reckon that um, when these start to get a bit old they peel off a little bit and they they just hold water behind them they bubble up and uh, they hold water and I think that's what's rusted that out also with the factor of down here is where the jacket point is and for the inside of here I think this bit's rusted out just because of all the like people not cleaning out the the like the dirt and everything that sits there like it's really good you can actually see it's a bit dirty in there but it's because I just came over the road but um, I always was one for cleaning it all out underneath here but um, I think that's what's happened there so I'm gonna clean all that up I'm gonna fill her and everything this will take a couple of days so instead of me trying to film stuff for a couple of days I'll just come at you with the end result and the finished product so hopefully it'll be looking good probably not it'll probably be rushed and bodged like everything else I do so yeah there is that and also I'm working in the the garage which has not got much space in it which isn't very handy but um yeah so that's what I think's went wrong there all right so here's the end result it's uh already got water underneath it which is nice um it's pretty rubbish I wasn't really too happy with the end result but um yeah it's 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 got filler on it it's got it looks better than it did before even though this does look horrendous don't have any color match paint nor can I afford to buy any at the minute so Saturn black it is but as I said hell load better than what it was before anyways funny enough um the handling's a bit better when it was uh, going into left turns the whole car kind of rolled over quite a bit but now it stays pretty flat so I guess that was really affecting the handling of the car and that's why you should sort your rusting out you're rusting? You're rust. But yeah, I'm gonna get this in. I'm just in the handbrake right now and um, probably gonna bleed the brakes before the MOT and send it in. I'll clean up the paintwork and everything later. But yeah, oh, it's done alright. As I say, it doesn't look horrendous. It looks horrendous, but it doesn't look terrible. Yeah. Can I end it there?